Hi, welcome to lesson 4.6, Similarity and Transformations. Now, in your journal, this is on page 117. So let's get our journal prepared for us to do the lesson. At the bottom of page 117, please make sure you glue a piece of graph paper, and that's going to be for problem number one. So pause the video and then start it when you're ready. Turn to page 18, and on page 18, you are going to be putting two pieces of graph paper, one at the top for monitoring progress question number one, and one at the bottom for monitoring progress question number two. There are only three examples for this lesson, which means that on page 119, you will be uh, crossing out the whole page or use that page for additional work if you need to. Now for the sake of this lesson, you will only be doing uh, problems one, two, and three on the extra practice, okay? Which means that on page 121, you do not need to do numbers six, five, and four. So let's turn to page 117 and let's start our first example. But before we do that, please make sure that you have this form out so that you can refer to all the rules. This was emailed to you, so please have it handy because you will be needing this. So let's go ahead and start with example number one. Now, in example number one, they want me to graph these three vertices, creating a triangle in its image after the similarity transformation. So what they want me to do is they want me to translate it five units to the right and one unit up. After we do that, they're going to want me to do a dilation with a scale factor of two. So let's go ahead and look for our coordinates. So what we're going to do is we're going to look for our coordinates of A prime, B prime, and C prime. Now remember what the rule is trying to tell me in the translation. Add 5 to the x, add 1 to the y. So negative 4 plus 5, that's going to give you a positive 1. 1 plus 1, that gives you 2. Negative 2 plus 5, that gives you positive 3. And 2 plus 1, that also gives you positive 3. Negative 2 plus 5, that's going to give you positive 3. And 1 plus 1, that's going to give you positive 2. So these are the coordinates of the image, of the first image. Now in order to get the coordinates of the other one, what you have to do is multiply the scale factor of 2 into the coordinates. So since the scale factor is 2, I'm going to multiply all of these by 2. So that is going to give me 2 times 1, 2, 4, 6, 6, and I'm actually missing a sign here, I think. Um, and then for this one, it's going to be, whoops. Not that. Okay, 2 times 3, that's 6, and 2 times 2, that's 4. Now what we're going to do is we're going to proceed to graphing all three sets of points. Let's start with this one. Negative 4, 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, and up 1. This is going to be for A, negative 2, 2, that's going to be B, and negative 2, positive 1, that's going to be C. So this is the first triangle. Then what we're going to do is we are going to graph the second set. So 1, 2, that's my A prime. 3, 3, that is my B prime, and 
the next one would be 6, 4. No, sorry, wrong one. 3, 2. Hence now you have the translation. That's this one. So now what we're going to do is we are going to dilate this with a scale factor of 2, giving me the resulting coordinates. So you have 2, 4. That's my A double prime. 6, 6. And 6, 4, which is right there. So this is the similarity transformation because it did involve a dilation. So first thing, translated, then dilated. So this was example number one. Now we're going to proceed and do the uh, monitoring progress questions. And here is monitoring progress question number one. Let me zoom in a little bit. Okay, so monitoring progress question number one. You have the following coordinates, and if it's a little bit blurry, which I think it is a little bit, here are the coordinates. For C, you have negative 2, 2, and for D, you have 2, 2. Now, the first thing they want me to do is a 90 degree rotation about the origin. All these are counterclockwise. Now, for the first transformation, it says that it's a 90 degree rotation, which means that the rule is negative y, x. So the coordinates of the first image, we are going to switch the x and the y, but the y value is going to turn into opposite. So that means that c is going to be 2, 2, but the y value turns into a negative. And the x value stays the same, which means that it's also a negative. For d prime, you're going to switch them. They're the same thing. But the, uh, x co the y coordinate is going to turn into a negative, and it's going to go in place of the y. So then the next thing we got to do is we need to graph this. Okay? So... Actually, no, we're, we're not going to do that. Let's do the, the second portion of this. The second portion, really easy, because the scale factor tells you here that it's one half. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply everything by one half. Lucky for us, they're all divisible by two. So that's going to give me negative one, negative one, negative one, and positive one. So now what we're going to do is we're going to graph our pre-image, this one and this one. So we have negative 2, positive 2, that's C. We have 2, positive 2, that's D. And then what we're going to do is we're going to graph the second set after we do the rotation. So that's going to be negative 2, negative 2, that's C prime, and negative 2, 2. So in this case, they're, they're both going to share the same coordinate. So it's going to look something like this. So that's going to be C and D prime. So then now what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to do the dilation, which is this one. That's going to be negative 1, negative 1, and negative 1, 1. So that one is C double prime, D double prime. So this is the composition and it involves a dilation, which makes this a similarity transformation. Now the last one we're gonna do, okay, in this one we're gonna, we're gonna do uh, three points. The points are one, two, keep breaking my lead. Okay, one, two, and G is four, four, and H is two, zero. Now the rule for reflecting about the uh, x-axis is the following. X stays the same, but y changes to its opposite. So f prime, okay, keep the x the same, y changes to the opposite. 
g prime, that's 4, negative 4, and h prime is 2, 0. Zoom out a little bit. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to dilate all of these. We're going to multiply it by 1.5. So f double prime, g double prime, and h double prime, we're all going to multiply these by 1.5. Okay, so let's multiply this by 1.5. Okay, so 1 times 1.5 is simply going to be 1.5. 2 times 1.5 is going to be 3, so that's going to be negative 3. 4 times 1.5, that's going to be 6, negative 6, negative 3, and 0. So now what we're going to do is we are going to graph these. I'm going to graph the pre-image, which is this one, then this one, then this one. So let's start with that one. 1, 2. That's F. 4, 4. That's G. And 2, 0. That's H. So that's the very first one. Then we're going to do the reflection about the x-axis. So then that's going to be 1, negative 2, 4, negative 4, and 2, 0. Okay, so we got to do is now label F, G, and H, and H prime happen to be the same thing. And for the last piece, we're going to be doing this one. So it's a dilation of this one. So it's going to be a little cluttered, but it's okay. So 1.5, negative 3, 6, negative 6, and negative 3, 0. And that's the dilation one. All right. Make sure you guys do the problems from the extra practice, and I will see you later.